Hi, I'm Naomi. And I'm Neve. And we're the Spinebreakers. Yeah, we are. Spinebreakers started around mid-July 2007 and it was a collaboration between Penguin, the book publishers, and Liberty, the socially responsible marketing company, The Youth. Teenagers are generally always on the internet anyway, whether it be MySpace, YouTube, YouTube or whatever else they like to go on. And I think it's the perfect medium to try and reach the target audience. Most of us are 13 to 18. And there are about nine of us actually currently as the core team of editors. There are more roaming editors around the country. We just read lots of books that we get given and then we review them and use them as a springboard for all kinds of lovely multimedia things. So we could do alternative endings, alternative chapters, alternative characters, character profiles, song lyrics related, anything you could possibly think of related to a book we will film or record or write about. Like in no other medium can you get that far into someone else's mind or their world view than in writing. And it's it's portable. You, you can always just have a book. Like you, you won't be able to find a TV on the train, but but yeah, you can always read a book of Harry Potter. At the moment, I'm very into Catherine Webb, who is a teen writer who's written some really good fantasy. Um, the Waywalker series in particular is great. It's about it sounds strange, but it's about um, Lucifer going around trying to save the world. It's really cool. Gianni Ailey, because she works with us and she's written something, she wrote it when she was 15, it's called How Teenagers Think and it's a book, you know, designed for adults so they can understand us. Oh yeah, the Bible as well. Well that was written by a teenager. <laughs> <laughs> I mean it affects so much of so many people's lives, I mean Christianity is the biggest religion in the world. It's quite interesting, well, it's quite a good read and you can understand how other people think and why other people do things even if you aren't religious yourself. You should read other religious texts too, just, you know, for the sake of fairness. And I'd recommend Just In Case by Meg Rossoff, because that's just a really cool book and one of my favourites at the moment. And if you haven't read Harry Potter or Lord of the Rings, you should. Yeah, there's something special about having a book that you can actually touch and real pages and, you know. Fall asleep on. Exactly, you can't fall asleep at a computer and get or, or keep a box in your cheeks.